Hydrogen is actually very widely used in industrial applications. For example, steel and refineries, where uh, it is used for reduction of uh, iron oxide, uh, which is uh, iron ore, into steel. Uh, that's the largest use of hydrogen at this point of time. It is also in a very limited way used as a fuel in several use cases. It is used, for example, uh, in a lot of green applications. Uh, however, it is not very widespread at this point of time. In terms of using hydrogen as a fuel, there are three important pieces. You have to store it, you have to transport it, and you have to find a way to efficiently convert it into energy, which is usable like electricity, or just burn it, for example. Uh, storage is a problem because it is the lightest gas, and therefore, even though it is very light, you still have to use very highly compressed system to be able to store it. And even that has very much higher volume as compared to what you would use, for example, gasoline or diesel for. In terms of transport, it is not very safe because highly inflammable. So you have to be extra careful about uh, transporting it. And also the conversion of hydrogen into usable sources, uh, ways like electricity is via fuel cells, which are themselves not extremely efficient at this point of time. So once all of these three technologies go up, you could actually see hydrogen being used much more widely as a fuel. If you make hydrogen with green sources, which means the renewable energy is used and electrolyzer is used to produce it, uh, you could have an entire chain of energy without any carbon emission, which is very similar to using renewable electricity into a battery powered electric vehicle or any other application. However, there are use cases in which it is not possible to use battery or any such storage or it cannot be connected to a grid. And hence those cases become very useful for green hydrogen. And that I think is a very large promise.